We all know how important insects are for the environment, but climate researchers say bugs could be a game changer in the fight to protect the planet in ways you may not have imagined. Tina Krause has the story from London. Adding some insects to the mix is customary in the kitchen in some parts of the world. Now climate experts think that protein-packed pests could offer a real solution to the global food crisis. Scientists in Germany are not pushing to get their critters on your plate. They see another benefit. Our interest is to make uh, insects as an alternative for the use of soybean-derived proteins. Large-scale growth of soybeans has been blamed for extensive deforestation. Since farming insects takes less land and water, these researchers believe bugs could become the livestock feed of the future. To have a more sustainable production of proteins, we need alternatives, and I see insects as a perfect tool. Experts also developed a fungi that converts organic waste into a diet for these soldier flies. And you can make so many things out of insects and um, to make the world better. And with insect farming booming around the world, researchers are busy as bees looking for more climate-friendly fixes. Tina Krause, CBS News. It's estimated up to 1.2 trillion insects are raised on farms each year as companies race to find a high-protein, low-carbon solution to feed animals and the world's population. CBS Saturday Morning. We'll be right back. Okay, so look, I don't really care if they want to feed bugs to livestock, but they also threw out in the population at the end there. They showed the bugs in the pan being cooked by in some cultures in the world. I am not eating bugs. They care so much about climate change. That's fine. I think we're not going to be able to do anything about it, to be honest. Um, but they will literally try to get people to eat bugs before just doing nuclear power. Um, it, it's a hard pass from me. I've said it once, I'll say it until I'm blue in the face. The climate change agenda will succeed at doing one thing and one thing alone. It is not fixing the climate. It will only succeed in making us all poorer and having a much worse quality of life. I won't eat the bugs. I won't do it. Put me up against the wall. I'm not <laughs> eating the bugs. It's horrific to even watch. I don't even want to take a worm and line a fish hook with it. It grosses me out so much. I'm not putting it in my mouth. That's absurd. That guy's like outright giddy talking about this. He's like, well, make them eat the bugs. Like, oh, God. I'm so freaked out. I actually have chills right now. That is heinous. I spend a lot of money, you know, just to keep bugs out of my house. I don't even want to look at bugs, I, much less eat them. I, I just, I can't stand this. And the fact that there's so many people that are just like, yep, give me a spoonful, anything for the environment. No. If that's what, if it's, if it's eat the bugs or let the world in, let the world end. It's had its course. Like, we're out. I'm done. I don't want my kids having any bugs. No, not doing this. I just, the whole thing is heinous. Yeah, if people want to eat bugs, I don't really care. But the idea that this is going to be some sort of societal-wide solution, it's not going to catch on. It's simply not. No. People are not going to eat the bugs. And again, it's like we could literally have zero emissions energy if we just did nuclear power. But they would rather try to have us replace our whole grid with, um, or our whole... Uh, you know, farming system with with bug farming, which is just a creepy idea in and of itself. Uh, also, isn't this stemming from Germany? Did I catch that right? This is coming from Germany, the country that has basically eviscerated its entire energy grid and is in dire straits now. Well, they and now rolled they back their resist. nuclear power, so that was a mistake. Right, exactly. The only people going for this is Germany, which is off its rocker when it comes to the climate issues right now. And Australia. I know people in Australia like to eat bugs. I don't I bet get Greta's it. Greta's down. I bet Greta thing. eats some bugs. Greta or wood. definitely wakes up. She eats a spoonful of flies every morning. <laughs> um, <laughs> did you ever see that video? It was a weird like Facebook series. I can't remember who put it on, but it would have actors on doing kind of like weird things that were innate to their culture. And they brought Nicole Kidman on one time and she's just sitting there popping crickets and bugs and talking about their different tastes. And it was it lives in my memory, <laughs> scotch-free. I cannot get out of my head. If you want to do it, go for it. I'm not doing it. I, I just, the the links they go to, right? You shouldn't have, basically, they don't want you to have air conditioning. They want you to eat bugs. They want to take away your gas stove. They want you to basically take a horse and buggy to go to Target. I'm done with these people. Like, they're not serious. I, I Again, if you want to talk about actual solutions to climate, let's talk nuclear. There's plenty of actual serious adults in the room when it comes to this issue. 
you're not listening to them. You're not coming to the table. You're more concerned with preventing people from eating meat. It's just, it's about everything else but the climate, honestly, when it comes to these people.